All right, so we have an upgraded part here coming with these buster kits. So previously, you would have this RC receiver that takes in a bunch of different inputs. We have six channels right here, and we don't want to have to plug all these separate wires into the Pixhawk. So we get a PPM encoder, which inputs all that crap and outputs it to one wire. So we have a simple way, a simple line to plug into the drone, and we still have six channels. Well, this new piece, I think it's the X6B, is both of these two devices in one. So very simple. This is a RC receiver and a PPM encoder. So we don't have to deal with all this crap anymore. This already detects eight channels on the input antenna, and it outputs here on the PPM. There's a little PPM port right there. So what you do, you take one of these guys, and you have a PPM encoder that has your eight channels on this output that we just plug into the Pixhawk. There we go, we got the ground there on the left, signal on the right, and now this side just plugs into your freaking Pixhawk. We got ground up on top, signal down below, and there you go, you got eight channels coming into this RC receiver and PPM encoder in one. This is the X6B. All right, now the binding procedure for these new uh, X6B receivers is a little different. Elsie, what you crying about? It's okay. So you'll see here, uh, right there, there's a little button that says bind. It's currently upside down, but it's the one closest to the edge. So we need to hold that down while we power up with the LiPo, and it will be blinking a red, fast blinky thing. Okay, you see that? I just plugged in the battery and the red light is blinking fast. So we got half of that done, now we hop on over to the receiver and on the receiver, it's currently off, but there's a bind button here, it's a bind key. So you hold that down and then you power up and when I power on the receipt or the transmitter, this should turn into a solid light on the receiver. It's hard to do with one hand, bear with me. There we go. So now it's solid red light. You heard a couple beeps. And that means that we now have a connection between this transmitter and this receiver. Now you can uh, secure this to the little lip here on the frame with some sticky tape. I like to use the, the non-powerful uh, white uh, mounting tape just on there. That way, if you need to re uh, remove it at any point, move it to a new location, it doesn't rip off all the stuff here on the back. So yeah. Okay, so the ESC calibration process is a little different when you have this receiver because we don't have access to those individual PWM lines unless we plug this messy thing in. We're not going to do that. We're going to do the all at once ESC calibration method. And you can actually do this with the other setup too, with this, but we're just going to do that on this all in one PPM encoder receiver. So first thing you got to do, power on the receiver or the transmitter, actually, sorry, raise the throttle all the way up with the drone still off. Now you will plug in the battery. You heard that little beep. Uh, that was just for the receiver seeing the transmitter, but press the safety switch. And what we have done now is informed the flight controller that the next time we power up, we want to calibrate the ESCs. So we now have to uh, remove the battery again. And with the transmitter still on, that's just the transmitter saying that it doesn't know where the receiver is. But with the transmitter still on, we'll plug the uh, battery back in with the throttle all the way up. Okay. And now we're, we're ready to do the all at once ESC calibration. So if I hit this safety switch now, you'll hear a beep. There we go. So now, that beep has primed us. It's told us that we're ready for the all at once ESC calibration. So now all we have to do, lower the throttle. 
You heard the but but. So that is it. Now your ESCs are all calibrated. And when you sort of gently push up on the throttle, you should see all the motors spin now. So there you go. That is the all at once ESC calibration method. Extremely important to calibrate your ESCs or this thing's gonna fly wobbly. So make sure to do this step 